Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Donjo number RP-13509-2630. This is what is called an RP or a remodeler's plate is what it is. This is basically just a piece of stainless steel that has been punched, sheared, punched, pierced, things of that nature. It's been machined and worked. Um, just speaking off the top of my head, uh, this would be a very thin piece of stainless steel uh, with a brushed finish. And that's just a peel away protective film, obviously, on that stainless. Okay, And this would allow you to cosmetically repair a door that has a lock on it. It might allow you to uh, change the look as well. So the bottom line is remodelers plates like this are generally used because there's some extraneous damage on a door is why you might end up seeing that. Um, and someone will add just a piece of metal like this generally on both sides of the door and this client did indeed purchase two of them and that would be normal. It would be it would be atypical to see these purchased in just singles but you could do it. You could put it on one side only and they're trying to cover up some damage or some paint marks or whatever it might be. Occasionally I've had people order these because they just want to change the look of the hardware on the door and that's not uncommon either but it's probably because you're trying to cover up or clean up or mitigate some sort of damage. Now this unusual preparation if you really use your imagination some people might call that a turtle prep if you use your imagination you can see why someone might call that a turtle prep a turtle prep is meant to handle basically any lever lock that you can throw at it that has through bolts uh, whether it be sergeant yale corbin russwin schlage you know arrow etc imports this turtle prep is going to handle it your 12 and 6 your, um, you know, your whatever, two and five and your, you know, uh, ten and seven or, or, or four, whatever, or five, whatever you want to call that. Um, and that's, that's what you would use that for. Now, this plate is, it's quite thin and you need it to be quite thin because... And this plate measures about 0 0.035, so 35 thousandths, which means to your lock, you're going to be adding about a sixteenth of an inch. And you don't want to add more than that because locks that are intended for, say, inch and three quarter doors, they'll probably work on an inch and seven eighths door, but they're not going to work on anything really thicker than that. Sometimes they do, but generally there's a small amount of play. And you would probably have to expect to adjust your lock slightly, uh, so be mindful that you'll probably end up doing that. Now this remodeler's plate, they say that it's three and a half inch, it is, by nine, spot on. And that turtle prep for your grade one or grade two cylindrical lever lock is going to be right in the center of that, about four and a half inch. Now the overall size of these prep, you're about three and a quarter. So be mindful, any lock that you're going to put on there needs to have a rose dimension of, say, three and a half inch, you know, right in that range. Um, I wouldn't really consider it appropriate for anything smaller. What I mean by that is you can put lever locks on here that will not have the rose diameter that will cover this. So I'm providing that dimension so that you can see what that is. Screws are included, just truss head style screws that will go through these four holes. You'll definitely want to pre-drill those holes. You'll want to be able to uh, have that screw run in nice and straight uh, and without stripping or shearing or getting you know, put in to a point where it's that large truss head screw is not sitting flat on the plate, or because it's a large diameter truss head screw, it will draw the, the plate in a direction that you don't want it to go. So, you know, um, proper size pre-drill on the holes, drill them in straight. And a proper dr size pre-drill would generally be, you know, some, uh, you know, I was taught the root diameter of the screw um, I've learned more recently that, you know, maybe 85% or 80% of the root diameter of the screw, depending on what you're drilling into, hardwood or softwood, um, but some, fr some percentage less than the root diameter would be uh, uh, more appropriate from what I understand. Let's switch to the screen view and take a look at some supporting documentation. 
This here is indeed the item that we are looking at. Okay. This stock image that's here, that will be replaced, um, corrected, I should say. So let's look at the template of this item. The RP13509-2, and it will give you all the dimensional properties beyond what I've provided. It talks about it being available in polished brass, antique brass, satin bronze, and then stainless steel. And it's supposed to be 032 thick. So that's a nice document to be able to review. There's also the catalog. Before we get to that, the extended description, remodeler plate with cross bolt holes, 32 thousandths the size, stainless steel base, a satin or brushed finish in 630. Now that link there to the catalog, let's type in RP-13509 and that will get us to the page where we can locate that. So the dash two is what's giving us our turtle prep. Um, you know, it's not drilled like this. You would see it literally as a, as it cut out completely to the two and an eighth inch hole, which is what that is, by the way. If you're doing a knob lock, you'd want just the RP13509, or if you're doing a deadbolt, or if you're doing a lock that doesn't take um, any through bolt holes. They also can do these in a larger size as well, the 13515. That'll get you out to 15 inch overall height. That would be appropriate, possibly, if you were trying to, you know, cover a much larger lock that used to be there. Uh, let's say you're changing a lock from some sort of lock that's discontinued and uh, you've got lots of holes in the door and you're just putting on a regular knob storeroom function. Um, so one of these plates may work for that as well. Different remodelers plates is the, is the point of this catalog. Starting from the beginning of the catalog, it's called accessory hardware pocket door locks. These are literally called scar plates. These are the same concept as our remodeler plate where you can kind of conceal damage or paint lines. Two and an eighth inch diameter hole, inch and a half diameter hole. They're always three and a half inch on the outside dimension. Our remodelers plates that we're back to. Plates that have function holes for specific locks are here as well. Okay. That's most definitely the Simplex L, the Simplex 1000 series um, lock there. One of these is likely a, an alarm lock trilogy. This is the same plate that we have, but our hole is biased towards the bottom. The RP14-2 is 14 inch, and you can pull up the template. Why you might use that is because you're removing a deadbolt from the door. And you want to just cover that out. Door viewers, door guards elbow catches, handrail brackets, coat hooks, flush pulls. Another scar plate or remodeler plate is here. Only goes on the face and slightly wraps to the edge of the door. So if someone has damaged the outside or the inside corner of the door, you can put that on there just to, you know, as a band-aid, just to, well, not a band-aid, but just, just a fresh coat of paint, so to speak, just to cover it up. Cylinder rings are here. I don't sell hardly any. I don't recall ever selling a cylinder ring from Don Joe. I would have failed the test if someone had asked me if they make them. Tapered cylinder rings, spring-loaded, solid. Uh, forgive me, I said ring. It is a guard when it's tapered like this, a, taper, a tapered cylinder guard. It's tapered to prevent someone from putting a wrench on the head of the cylinder. Cylinder rings are going to operate uh, most specifically to just close off the distance from the face of the door or trim to the underside of the cylinder. This is what's called a wave washer, the C5-2. That would be used with the C6-1, uh, C6 most certainly. Um, the C6-2, I think, has an integrated spring. C5-1, inch and an eighth diameter. Um... I'm going to, oh, I see what that's for. Okay, so the cylinder ring and the wave washer, they're meant to go inside of here. If you need to pad that cylinder out, you could use these very thin um, pieces of metal. Is all, is, they're just shims is what they are. Okay, now that wraps up this catalog. Let's click here below this video to a link to the manufacturer's page. 
Okay, that is going to allow us to review not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. However, that full product catalog is also broken up into its subsections. So if you know you're just dealing with latch protectors or wraparound plates, which are probably the two product categories that you most would know Don Joe for. I mean, they, there's, you know, 10 other categories there, at least, uh, of hardware from Don Joe. But if you do know that name, it's probably for latch protectors and wraparound plates. So you can just focus on that. An honorable, an honorable mention would be strike plates. They do a very broad, they provide a broad offering of strike plates, standard and custom, extended lip is really where they come into play, etc. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Hey, in conclusion, nice quality product from Don Joe. It's a bit of a utilitarian piece of equipment, but someone has to make these. This is being manufactured in the United States, uh, in Massachusetts, I believe, and that's always a plus. Uh, also, other pluses when you're working with Don Joe is the fact that they are really nice people. The person who answers the phone can do tech support, check stock, tell you where your package is or what a ship date is. They're hardware people. They're independent and they genuinely uh, behave or insert themselves into the process as if they're a partner uh, in making sure that the end user is completely satisfied. And to them I say thank you. Any questions on the RP13509? Dash 2 at a 630 finish or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.